Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the processes guys. So basically first let us go through the client. So how the client will be accessing and all those things. So the most important web client is a piece of software that is called as a web browser guys. So basically the client will be interacting with the website with the help of this web browsers. So the popular web browsers could be Mozilla, Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer and all those things guys, Safari, etc. Okay. So basically these are the ones which are which enable the user to use the websites guys so to navigate among themselves yeah which enables a user to navigate through web pages by fetching those pages from the server subsequently displaying them to the user on the screen okay so this is a simple flow diagram guys where the client is requesting for the scripts and he is seeing on the front front end of the user the browser engine is checking rendering of the engine and the data is collected and it is stored shown to him okay so that's the basic flow diagram okay so the next is nothing but we can use the web proxies also so the process was used to allow a browser to handle application level protocols other than http so basically whenever any kind of web browser it might be it will be commonly using http only guys it will not be using ftp or smtp and all those things so to use them you need to install or you need to add a web proxy to do that guys so basically your browser will be sending a request to web proxy using http only but the web proxy will be converting it into ftp and it will be sending to the ftp server and the ftp server will be giving a response in terms of ftp response and the web proxy will again convert this ftp response into http and the browser will be opening you the web page and all those things okay okay guys whenever you are drawing any kind of diagram please write it in terms of their explanation guys that's it that will be giving you marks guys okay yes similarly apache web server okay by far the most popular web server in apache so basically 90 to 80 sorry 80 to 90 percent of the websites which we are using every day are running on apache web server guys so it is popular in the in such a long way okay so it is important that the server is highly configurable and extensible and it is the same same time it is a largely independent of specific platform okay so basically here we will be calling some hooks guys so hook is a collection of processes or functions so basically the architecture will be in this way guys so basically we will be dividing our website into multiple modules and each and every module will be having some part which is in related to each other you can say it as a duplicate or anything so basically these are collected by the hooks so hooks will be collecting the similar components or similar functions or similar processes and these hooks are connected and apache will be responding so this is a simple flow guys okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea right okay of the process and all those things so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about communication and i'll be explaining you about http in detail guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching